All right, so now we're going to talk about theme. Theme is the central idea or message of a story, okay? So we're going to write that underneath the flap. Those of you at home, you won't have flaps, but just write theme like you're writing a definition. Central idea. or message of a story. Now, the central idea of a story, it's not, it doesn't just come out and tell you what it is in the story. This has to come from, from you inferring what the story is about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just like we infer um, Jane Addams is brave, we have to infer what the central idea is by looking at every clue there is with the pictures, with the writing, and trying to figure out what is the whole message of the book, okay? So we would say that the theme is hidden. The theme is hidden, but you can figure it out after you read. the entire book. Okay? So the story, Jane Addams, is not going to just come out and tell you the theme is kindness or the theme is to treat others better than yourself. Stop. Okay? So now it will make more sense when we give examples. We'll do that on the next flap. Possible themes. Okay, so the next part, we're going to write some examples of themes. So like I said, it doesn't just come out and say, in this story, the theme is how to be kind to others, okay? The theme is going to be something that you figure out at the end of the book after you've read it, okay? What was the book supposed to try to teach you, or what was it trying to send a message about, okay? So this one, we would probably say what, Allie? Be nice to other people and be kind. Good, so be kind. That's, that could be a, a central idea or a, a message the story is trying to give you. Okay? It may not be in this story, but a lot of stories may give you a theme that you need to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself, meaning don't try to be like anybody else. Be who you are meant to be because you are special all on your own, okay? So stories, that's a theme you might see. Okay, another one is appreciate what you have. So you might read a book that's talking about kids not appreciating what they have. So the message is trying to teach you to appreciate what you have. Okay, That would be an example of a theme. Okay, You also might hear... Uh, 
don't give up. Don't give up. Work hard. Work hard for things that you want. A couple more. Be honest and trustworthy. Be true to yourself. So like Cinderella is a good story. She thought that she had to have this elegant ball gown and these fancy shoes and um, all be all dressed up for the prince to love her. But when it came down to it, did he still love her even when she didn't have the fancy clothes and the fancy house and shoes? Yes. Okay. So it's important. The story is trying to give you a message that, it, that you need to be true to yourself. Okay. And now in the story Cinderella, did it come out and tell you, be true to yourself? Yes. No, it does not come out and verbatim say the theme is be true to yourself. No. You read the story or you watch the movie over and over again and you understand that what the message they're trying to send you is. Okay? So last one, be patient. Now, are these all the things that we could possibly see in a story? No, we could see other themes, but these are just some examples, okay? Okay, now, for the last thing we're going to do for theme, you're going to actually practice. What is the theme of this short story, okay? We should all kind of come up with the same idea or something very similar. Uh, there could be more than one theme, guys, so just keep that in mind too, okay? So for Jane Addams, the theme might be to be kind to others and maybe appreciate what you have. She appreciated that she was able to live in a nice place but um, saw that others did not all have that. Okay, so she felt felt um, sympathetic to them. Okay, so we're going to read this short story, and then underneath the flap, we're going to come up with the theme that goes with this. Okay, Kelsey, you want to read? Did you finish your math homework? Amy asked James. No, I didn't bother. Miss Tom never checked our homework anyway. I just wrote down some numbers so it will look like I did it when she glances at it. James whispered a slight grin crept across his face as Amy raised her eyebrows. Later that morning, Miss Tom asked Bart to collect the math worksheets. I decided that I will grade these worksheets and keep them in the conference folder. You can look at the worksheets with your parents when they visit next week. James gasped this was not going to turn out well. Okay, so what do you think the central theme or idea or message of that story is? Bryson? But what about it? The theme isn't just him turning in his homework. Okay, but what are they trying to teach you? He didn't do it. But what kind of message are they trying to send you because he didn't do it? You're telling me things that are exactly in the story, but the theme, guys, is not in the story. It's what message we can get out of this. Was he, do you think he was probably going to get in trouble? Okay. So what message does that send you? To maybe not be lazy, to do your homework, 
to always do your best even though you think the teacher's not going to grade it? David? To work hard. To work hard, okay? Not be lazy. Um, can negative consequences or laziness result in negative consequences if you are lazy? Yes, okay? So we can kind of get from this story that you need to always do your best. Okay, that may not be the only thing. You could have also said laziness can lead to negative consequences. Anything negative could have been like he could have sat out recess, he could have made a bad grade. He would not know the material as good as other kids because he didn't practice. So being lazy can lead to negative consequences, okay? So do we understand a little bit better now what theme means? Yes. It's not what it's saying exactly in the story like text evidence. Theme is something you have to figure out on your own after you've read the whole story. Okay, what is the message? What are they trying to teach you out of that story? Okay, any questions? Allie? Um, did he just want to not do homework and just play? On his own or something? I have no idea, Allie. It's just a short story. Does it go into detail? He said that he didn't want to do it because he didn't think the teacher was going to check it. Okay? But that's besides the point. That's not the point of the story, though. Okay? All right. Tomorrow we will practice more on themes, so make sure those of you at home have these written down in your notebooks because we will get to use this when we work on a theme tomorrow. Okay?